Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Princess SMP. If you are seeing this, I was not back I was not backlogged on content. And I felt that I could get this out to you. If not, you're just gonna have to go and see it on Maholia's uh, perspective. Maddie's perspective. He 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 he. Um but today we are gonna go talk to her. And I can finally leave my room. So I want to do something nice for her. Now, I stole these candles. And so much of my stuff is so full. What even is this? This is the note. Okay. Why does it feel like this side of the room is dark? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I just, I don't need. This can go in my under chest. This can go in my under chest. I have so much food. That can be returned. I can return this. I don't need these building supplies. I have nourishment food in here, hello? I, first of all, I'm going to go and organize this stuff. I'm going to give these golden carrots to Karma. She wanted them for her experiments. I'm going to eat one because I'm hungry. Ah, Miss Ma'am. Okay. Um, and then I want to... Here's the thing. I... Only I wanted to meet at the campfire. I don't know what that means. I won't lie. I don't know. I put, um, I found this book, which you can go and see on, uh, Lena's perspective. Uh, I can go in here. This can go in here. I don't know why this is in here. I need clay. I'm lazy. Ah. Also, I checked Pat's house. The only thing he left was food and a compass that goes somewhere specific. I'm assuming the compass goes to the farm, the piglin farm. But I have. Hello? What the hell was that? Okay, no. I need to get a pot for that. Okay, so I want the candles. I think the candles could be cute, romantic, romantic, and romantic. I don't know. Oh my god, the girls yesterday. <sighs> Feelings are weird and dumb. Uh... I think there's some cool things. Oh, actually, hold on. I don't know. I want to. I don't know. I don't know what I. I won't lie to you. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. See, look. 
He just said good luck. So he obviously took his armor with him. Kinda wanna What the hell happened in here? Why are these all open? Oh Okay, these that this is good to know. What the fu bro was busy, hello? Oh, uh, what? Oh! Ooh. How? I can't. Oh, there's boots there. I can't give her anything that's going to give her an achievement because then people will know that we are together. We're, 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 we're hanging out together. Uh, I think it was very creative of him to um, include barrels in the design of his house. There's mushroom walls? Hello? What could I bring that says, I'm sorry? So many bone blocks. Not a wither rose. Uh, quartz glass. Oh, ah! Okay, clearly we need to get someone with fortune three. Oh my god! Oh. oh, I can just bring my jukebox. What am I doing? Is what I'm doing really gay? Or just a potion of invisibility in his house. Ooh. Maybe she'll like this. I feel like what I'm doing is really gay, and I don't know how I f feel. I usually don't have to think about my feelings. Wow, so many feathers. Am I in Bridgerton? What's happening? Oh, well, okay, you can just get stuck in there, I guess. I don't know, maybe she wants more willow lights or something. I don't know. I'm not good at this. Whatever this is. What? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I won't lie to you guys. Uh, maybe... Maybe she'll like another star. I feel like that goes against what I literally just said. About the whole getting achievements thing. But here we are. We're just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up a little, oh, I got the gas here. I'm gonna set up a little coffee thing for Maholia near the campfire 
which I am assuming that is in the village that she's in. Which is this? I don't know. Hopefully she's not around. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> what? Uh! Oh my god, the light was real. Oh my god, this person scared the crap out of me. Why am I not flying? Hello? What is happening? What the hell was that? I just want to fly. Leaving Ivywood. I need to be quiet. I don't know where this campfire is. Shit, 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 shit. No! Stay there. Stay, no. Stay there. Stay. Stay there. Stay there. For like two minutes, okay? Oh, God. Why do these plays backwards? That's so stupid. I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. She's got. Did she? <sighs> Did you go invisible? Did you go invisible? Right now, where'd she go? Melody. <laughs> Melody. Go.
I think there was a diary. I thought that was a note. I thought someone sent that to her. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. shit. Hello. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I, I was like, damn, I just, yeah, I, I deserve that. Hello. Hi, Lady Morgan. What brings you here? Uh. Well, now I'm thrown off because we're being really formal. You, you, Melody, you don't have to be formal with me. <laughs> Well, um, I, I'm just a stranger, so I must bow to the High Lady. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to make it up to you because I wasn't able to, uh, make good on the note that you sent me. Oh, uh, you don't have to worry about that. That was just, I, I just wanted to share some information I had learned and you might even already know that information. I just, I guess I just, uh, Melody wanted to see if you wanted to know the information. Melody. Hi. Hi. Hi, sorry. Um, I brought you some stuff that you might like. Oh? Um, I didn't bring it in a, a box, uh, this time. I forgot to grab one, but I have some extra Willow torches, because I saw that you were decorating the inside of your house with them last time, and then I also brought you some obsidian glass, um, <gasps> in case you wanted to build with it. Um, mm. I also, I have these two things I'm worried that you're gonna get an achievement for this one though oh yeah I might I don't think I've ever I you had might not that before. I think it's a just a recipe I think when you spawn a wither you get the achievement um yeah okay Ooh. oh okay there you have it I just didn't <gasps> want someone wow. to be like you have a nether star oh my gosh you're in the nether uh. Oh yeah, well, thank you. For th this is very uh, generous of you. Of course, and I also I set up a little table for us. Oh, <laughs> oh! I wow. wanted to bring coffee, but I didn't know how to make it. Oh, coffee! I don't think I've ever had coffee before. I don't know if we have it. I have some hot watermelon chocolate. juice. <gasps> I could have made hot chocolate. Oh, I haven't had watermelon juice in a long time. Here. I had some extra. Oh, thank you. Of course. Mm -hmm. um. But yeah, I just, I wanted to make it up to you because I wasn't able to um, come the other day. And um, I don't know if this was me reading into it, but you seemed upset that I couldn't go. And I realized that... I may have been setting my priorities in the wrong place. Um, oh, no, no, no. It, I just, I understand. I, um, you were busy. You're busy. You're, you're, you've got things going on. I was on. locked in my room by the Lord Keeper, which I could have just told the Lord Keeper to go, you know, shove it. Oh, uh, I, didn't. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, yeah. you're just doing what's right for your people. I, I'm still kind of weighing the options um, of what's right. Um, I have loosened the reins, I guess you could say, on the girls. 
so oh really if you're ever invisible in the elven kingdom you might see them i it oh well uh -huh. Uh -huh. i may have already ran into one of them i was gonna oh. actually tell you that and ask you about it um but i assumed oh you knew Wait, about no, it i think I, I i did yes i remember yeah. um lena telling me that yeah oh. what were you doing Oh, well, uh, long story <laughs> short, um, Annabelle assigned Kaya a building task and Kaya didn't want to do it. So Kaya asked if I would sneak back into the Elven Kingdom to do it. So I, that's what I was doing. <laughs> oh my, uh, Kaya is just about striking deals, huh? I heard <laughs> about that. I heard... <laughs> Unlimited carts. <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, sure. Was that 20... Kaya asking for that? That was Kaya asking, yes. 25 oh goodness, blaze Kaya. powder to be able to make uh, telepasses. Um, probably also for that secret drug ring that I haven't been able to find in your kingdom. In huh? Your kingdom. What? What Didn't... secret drug ring? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the first excursion in a long time that we took in the Elven, like in the overworld, Kano had said something about one of your people having access to potions. <gasps> Wait, uh, what? I'm trying to remember who that was. I don't remember that at all. I can only imagine it was probably Noi or Greg. They seem to be the ones that needed materials from me the most. <laughs> I wonder, uh, wonder what it was for, but you know. Oh, you know, I feel like I remember saying something to them about what would happen to them if they were caught, and maybe that stopped it. And then I, I never worried or thought about it again. <laughs> so I think that's why it's not. I'm not recalling, but all good. Uh... Um, I had something to say and I forgot. You had it information for me. Oh, something? maybe I'm trying. I'm trying to remember what it exactly was. I should have written it down. Um, and you might even know this information already. Um, it seems that one of your subjects. Um. Well, okay. So actually, I should probably Is it start. Y yes. Yes. I, they have s not switched kingdoms, but have been adopted by, taken guardianship by Princess Marina and Messenger Theo. Okay. Um, I, I gave them the choice that I gave every other Netherian when I closed the borders. They were not around or that choice so i gave it to them then and i told them that if they were to live with either either person um i could not have them coming in and out of the nether freely so they would have to follow the laws of the other kingdom whichever kingdom they reside in um yeah so Okay. But if they're not sticking to that and they're sneaking in and out, please let me know. Um, well, the information I learned was a little... I should have retraced my memory. I, I didn't know you were showing up all of a sudden. I wasn't expecting you. Um, Sorry. I, uh, I believe it had to do with the anti-heroes. And I heard... Are they a part of it? Well, I heard people talking about it at the festival. And I hmm. heard that... Well, I don't know. Gosh, I should have retraced my memories. Um, They... He or she... Max and Sylph. I think Max, he self she. Yes. Max and Sylph 
um, backed off into a corner. Well, they didn't go into a private call. Um, but they talked, they said something about, like, they're on to us. Um, we need to cover our tracks. Which I thought was very suspicious. <laughs> so... Yeah. Um, and that was after people, I believe that's after people were talking about the anti-hero stuff. I, um, also, I learned... Well, my hunch was Solstice was leading that. He seems like the kind of person who would want that. And he's a bit, uh, miffed about Lorelia, obviously. And I think, uh, if you can't directly go after her because I'll rain hellfire on him, then he probably, <laughs> probably has resorted to other means. Yeah. Um... I haven't even spoken to him yet. He's written me several several letters, so I uh, I haven't I don't know any. I haven't had a personal conversation yet. I'm, I've been meaning to, but especially right now, it's not the time. Yeah. Um, I don't think Solstice was there. I'm trying to remember what else happened. I feel like there was more important. Oh, Kano was there, invisible for some reason. Mm. Um. I know, well, so. Max is Solstice's knight, so that's the only reason why I think that would be oh. the connection there. Okay. I'm trying to think of what so. else. It seems, um, separate information I learned at a different time is that it seems that Princess Coral is having issues with well, specifically, I should say, Captain Ziff and Princess Marina. Mm. She had a meeting. <clears throat> Don't ask me how I know. Um, she had a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. uh, she basically, like, scolded them about mm. how they're really disrespectful. And she won't stand for it anymore, so... She's building a prison <laughs> to use on her own oh. people, probably, to motivate oh. them to follow her laws. Well, that's wonderful, because I will be sending a notice of his head, so she'll have no quorum <gasps> with departing with it, it Wait, seems. really? Yes, I... And this stays between us. I have recently found a illegal portal near the castle um fang and i and are Ziff? going uh, uh, wait that makes so much point sense to him well i was and swimming what? underwater um obviously i uh you have the pendant from them right yeah, I was swimming Ethan. underwater. Well, I had to... I went... I didn't go to the festival. I more was undercover. Um, mm. And I swam around a little bit and happened to hear the mermaid meeting as well. Um, mm. But I swam... I found Ziff's house. I didn't go inside, but there was obsidian outside of it. I thought, I thought that was strange. So if... I wouldn't be surprised if yeah. he was building a portal. Also, <laughs> I would be relieved. I, w I hate to say that. It makes me f feel like a terrible person, but he may have... He may have seen me spying. Mm. And he... I don't think he knew it was me because he approached me and asked me if I was a new mermaid. So I think he didn't recognize me. Maybe he doesn't know what I look like very well. Um, I don't know. But it made me nervous because if he made the connection, mm. I didn't want him to know that I was snooping around the mermaid castle and I didn't want him to make the connection of me stealing the Alliance book either. Yeah. There's a lot of things that point to him. Uh, first and foremost, um, he was joking with Lucario about, you know, putting their differences aside and him coming to the nether. Um, 
Oh, so that's like an indicator to me of like, oh, it's a half, it's a half truth at that point. Um, as well as just the way that he treats us, which is is fine. We haven't treated the other kingdoms very nicely. There is a person right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <sighs> um, okay. first and foremost, obviously, the the distaste that he has for us, which is obvious. Um, the conversation that he had with Lucario, the threats that he had sent to me about having a conversation regarding Marina, and that feels like he's mm -hmm. the most uh, he's the most likely the one to have. The finger on the trigger mm. and i won't know and i can't confirm until we trace the portal back to mm. its location mm -hmm. um i don't wish to take the portal because if it uh, is a trap well it wouldn't spawn in the same location because it's a, if he built it underwater and we take it if it's still underwater, then yes, we're, we're trapped. If it's not, and it does what I know portals to do, which is to spawn above the water, it doesn't necessarily prove that it's him. Yes, it will spawn above his house, but they could play it off that it's not him. Mm. So I need to calculate the coordinates and... Try and find it? it yeah. Well, maybe just start low. searching his house. <laughs> I can't go down there. Um... We could go right now. Never mind. There's Jonah and Coral. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> no, um, I am going to be a... sending a notice to Coral regarding um, the retrieval of who did it with the evidence of if it does trace back to the Mermaid Kingdom. It's more of going to be a, hey, you have a time limit to figure out and hand over the person who broke my law. I don't mm. want to directly point at Ziff, but I feel like I she'll probably also be inclined. And I also... <gasps> Congratulations. Okay, sorry. Oh, did they get married? No, someone had a baby. Finally! Oh. Oh. Right. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I am not going to be closed-minded to the options of things that would benefit me uh, and the Nether and our safety. So... Mm. If she wants to come up with something else, by all means, if it becomes an alliance, it'll be heavy, heavily skewed in mine and the Nether Kingdom's favor. If it's a, it's a favor that she owes me, I could... Literally, if she tries to invade, I could be like, hey, remember that favor? <laughs> Don't invade, and if she still does, then I'll just, you know, do what I must. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Well, but it sounds like... There's something else. Do you have an under chest? No. Go in the fire. Don't go in the fire. Don't go in the fire. Don't go in the fire. I found a book in my room. Uh, do you Is mind you waiting here it? while I go get it? Uh Sure. Oh, but before you do, I did remember one thing. Um, mm -hmm. I believe Ziff was wearing, when he confronted me, he was wearing a netherite helmet. I don't know where he would have gotten that from. Did Max have a netherite helmet on? Um, I don't know. I, but... Because I know Max... He was swimming... Ziff was swimming in the water alone, looking for me, because apparently some people had sight sighted me while everybody else was on the pier. So mm -hmm. it's possible, I guess, that Max just handed it over and let him borrow it, but... Well, if he's wearing it or has possession of it, I think that will further prove that it was him. Yes. I obviously can't 
prove if he was Max or not. Yeah, I can't be the one to check his pockets. And yeah. I doubt Max would tell me anything. Because a Max lied straight to my face about Sylph. So, oh. Oh. Yeah. I see. I okay. might have caught a glance of Sylph the other day before they were before they left the nether permanently um, in the Winter Kingdom. And when I asked Max about it, they said that they hadn't seen them. So, I don't think Max would be very inclined to tell me. But, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. I will be right back. This book is important, okay. and I don't know why okay. I didn't bring it with me. Okay. I'll wait here. Okay. Um, Hello. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> I found this book and it is labeled Ancient Curses and it's by the Lord Keeper. Oh. How'd you find it, it in the Winter Kingdom? No, it was in my room. In your room? Yeah, it was in... I have a small section of my room that's like a reading nook. It was in the table that was there. Um, it talks about your twin curse. Oh? It also talks about every other curse that has crossed this land. And something of interest, which maybe this... Maybe this netherite helmet isn't something that he had obtained via the nether. It might have been. But the way that he acts also makes me think it's not. Um, it says um, the Black Serpent, an ancient beast located in the darkest depths of the Mermaid Kingdom. It is known to strike with lightning and create huge storms such as tsunamis, hurricanes, and typhoons. Uh, the beast has been known to be slain by blacked out, and upon slaying it, it dropped armor. When warm, the black serpent armor exudes confidence and extended knowledge that has been valued by treasure hunters. Those wearing the armor can also experience effects like arrogance, power hunger, and bloodthirst. This is where the armor becomes dangerous. All of the armor has been thought to have been destroyed, but it is rumored that a helmet still exists in the Blank family. It has been rumored that Princess Heather, the black-hearted princess of the Elven Kingdom, owned this oh. armor because of how cruel she was in her reign. There is no evidence that this lane is true. Wow, that's a lot of... I feel like that fits a lot of people. It, do... it does make sense that Princess Heather was thought to have it. Although I don't remember any... Per... Well, I wasn't around, technically. So... I found this book with the girls, and they and myself think either, as of right now, either Captain Ziff is, ha has it and is wearing it, mm -hmm. or that Chancellor Kano has it. As much as Kano 
is shifty sometimes. I don't think he is power hungry or bloodthirsty. I think he's just not able to convey his feelings. Sorry, I just had, I had a conversation with him recently um, oh. about it. I talked to him about, about his everything. Feeling about everything. About everything. About what I was mad about, why I was upset, why I jumped into the lake, why I'm in hiding. About why I felt like he abandoned me. And he told me his reasoning. Um, Are they more lies? Not. It felt like he was very genuine i mean at first i could tell that he was just covering it up he was putting he puts on this like persona of i'm all business everything is fine and i told mm -hmm. i tore it down because i was sick of it so good i it felt like he lowered his walls for me finally um so that we could talk about Maholia and what had happened and so I feel like I understand why he has done the things that he's done and when I go back to the Elven Kingdom I'll make sure that he doesn't do the same things again so oh. I made that promise to myself and to him and to Anthony. So you're going back then? I think so. I'm honestly waiting for Kaya to get back so I can hear what she's found because if it is an inside job, it might be a little bit harder to go back. But if I know about the inside job, then I'll be able to defend myself better. Um, but I... Uh, Anthony asked me to come back and honestly he's the, he's the only family I have ever had I didn't even know I had any family and I I really really don't want to lose him out of everyone I and it breaks my heart I because I went to the festival and I saw him just standing alone not talking to anyone and mm. I um I he actually had a date with Princess Estelle um from the Cloud Kingdom and I stalked it because Kaya told yeah, me about it I heard about that um, and he yeah. told me that if he needed to marry her for the benefit of the kingdom, he would do it. And I told him that I don't want him to do that. Mm. Because, well, first of all, I don't, I don't want to lose my little brother. But second yeah. of all... I don't want him to just do it because it's for the kingdom. Maholia like wouldn't have done it. Stuff. Yeah. It's for the kingdom. Yeah. Um, so Maholia leaving. didn't want to do that. Um, I don't want to do that. And I think both of us would agree that we wouldn't want that for Anthony. So... It breaks, it breaks my heart to be apart from him, and I, I want to go back for him, but I don't know how Annabelle feels. We did exchange letters before your meeting, which I think is why she was rather reasonable and agreeable at the meeting, because I sent her mm. a letter before. Um. Oh. So, oh yeah, I was at the meeting too. Sorry. You were there? I was there. Invisible. <laughs> hey, I've got nothing to do over here, okay? I just wanted to see how everyone was doing. 
and I was really worried about this meeting because like what if it would meant war between the nether and the elves and I didn't want that so I, I just checking up and it went really well it went well because of you well maybe I don't I don't know um Kano although Anthony wants me back Kano seems a little bit indifferent to whether I come back or Annabelle rules um so despite our conversation and our heart to heart he he just wants what I want is what he said but I don't know what I want so I thought I'd give it a try and when Kaya gets back I'll tell Annabelle the truth and depending on how she feels if she feels she wants me to step down and she wants to reign then I will if she understands and is okay with me being back on the throne then I will continue to rule but then eventually I to? well um I don't know if I care too much about being like the princess I just mm -hmm. I love building I love creating community and I miss it as you can tell I kind of totally revamped this village because <laughs> I yeah, it looks beautiful. I needed to make it organized and trying to build some new buildings make it comfortable for everybody help it help the village back on its feet and and I enjoy doing that I enjoy adding to the community and especially infrastructure I just love I don't know I just love building <laughs> um mm -hmm. so you know if I were to step down maybe I could hold some sort of position like that um but I don't know if I do return to the Elven Kingdom as princess I I don't want to play Maholia anymore so I would have to eventually tell everyone the truth and it's scary to know how especially other kingdoms would react but as long as Annabelle and Anthony are ha having a good standing and good reputation with everyone then if another kingdom wants me to step down um, or there will be war type of situation then I will I'm not afraid anymore and I don't want to be I was going to say something stupid, and then I shot myself. Um, what? Uh, I was I was just going to say, there she is. There. Who? The person I know you to be. I'm... Your strength showing. I'm still a stranger. You... We've only known each other for, what, a few months, maybe? When did you step down? Or, step down. When did Moholia step down? I mean, when did Moholia leave and get killed? Yeah. Yes. When did um, she die? Two days after her coronation. Two years ago. So she turned a thousand, had her coronation to be princess, and two days later is when everything happened. So I've I been. Hmm? I go ahead. 
Um, so, yeah, I've been ruling for two years, but quote unquote ruling. Most, the first year was basically me stuck in a room with Kano trying to review all the laws and rules and stuff. Very, very riveting stuff there. It was great. Um, so I didn't really, I feel like I didn't really step out of my room until recently. I was scared that no one would recognize me. And when nobody had suspicions, it actually made me feel almost worse. Like, I'm not my own person. But, anyways, sorry. I don't mean to gush about my problems. I don't need to be sorry. I was going to say that I closed my borders two years ago. Okay. And that was the last time that I saw Maholia. Yeah. But the person that I've seen in these last couple of months is just as important, just as special. just as strong you are your own person you had to put on a mask of someone who wasn't you directly she might have looked like you but not you and I'm I am only mad. I was only mad. Because I lost my friend and no one told me. But I gained a new one. And I don't want to take that for granted. Really? You... You consider me your friend? Yes. You're the closest person that I have beside my sisters and Fang. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, um... I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. Truly. I... I felt insecure because you didn't know the that I wasn't Maholia, so you only treated me a certain way because you thought I was her. But when I was starting, I at first I don't know if you noticed I was a little bit I was scared of you. Not gonna lie. Um, but then I really did feel like you were my friend. And I don't know if it's just because you were friendly with me, because... But it doesn't matter. I I really, truly thought... I messaged you drunk. Apologies for that. Um, because I felt like you were the only person who would respond to me like a friend. Is that the Melody message or the one that was signed with a different name? Uh, I'm talking about when I drunk Most messaged recently? you. No, and you came to the... What did I to say in that message? I was talking about my struggles and that I needed yes, a friend. Yes, yes. Yeah. That, was the, that one was signed with Maddie. Yes. 
Maddie is a nickname that Maholia came up with for Maholia and Melody. Oh. So, Maholia oh. actually. Oh. Okay. She actually knew I existed. She thought, but I don't know how. I never got a chance to ask her. But she knew who I was when I stepped into that village. She knew something. I don't know how she found out. I've been searching the entire Elven Kingdom to figure out how she knew that she had a twin some, and that I had a, my name was Melody. I, my mother must have given me that name and told Maholi about it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, but she had how always. How long had you had that twin book? Not the only recent. Only recently. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, actually, Advisor Ira brought it to me. I mean, if it was in the Winter Kingdom library, then I can only imagine that's how Maholia got it, and then... It's possible. Maybe she found some other things, or... I don't know, maybe wind telepathy she always knew? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get a chance to ask her. It kind of happened all quick, so quickly. I think she was just really excited to get out of the castle. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I, I'm really glad that you consider me your friend, because for a while you were my only friend, and right now, you're the only person I can talk to in this village. I'm isolated for good reason, but still isolated. I won't sit here and pretend that I knew, because I didn't. And that could be the baseline for the way you were treated originally when we first met, technically. But... I don't know. You... You share her kindness. Her empathy. But there... There is a difference. And... I don't know why I didn't notice. I'm sorry f for not noticing. I'm sorry for treating you as her. Well, you wouldn't have known, but, so. I know. Okay. But I know you now. And unless the things you say are a lie, and this is all a ruse. I have no reason not. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to laugh. Be your friend. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, I never know. I, I never know. I feel like I've been the most honest that I've ever been, ever. Except yeah. for I still feel like I'm a little bit. I feel like a like a international <laughs> spy. I've literally spied on like seven different things in the last week because I have nothing to do and I don't want to appear as Maholia. So, yeah. The questions and all that would be very Questions annoying, so. and why is your hair orange and where have you been? There is an there's an an air to you. I don't know how to describe it. An air? Yeah. A I R, not E. 
H E I R. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, know. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I don't. I don't want to compare. I don't want to compare. You are your own person, and I didn't see it right away, but reflecting on it, I see it now. And I hope that with time we can continue to grow in our friendship because I would like I don't want this is sound really cheesy but I don't want to lose you wow okay <laughs> thank you for saying this course. thing I mean it. I... It doesn't sound cheesy. I... I don't want to lose you either. <laughs> I feel bad we didn't... <laughs> I feel bad we didn't use your table. <laughs> It was just extra. It was left over from the construction of the bar. If you want, you can keep the table. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay, thank you. We could decorate. Yeah, I do need to decorate some of these houses. These villagers are really bad at furnishing. I think they're more focused on getting married and having babies. No, they have not. <laughs> this is the first marriage and child that's <laughs> happened today in like three weeks. <laughs> that's, that's how long it feels like I've been here I wouldn't be surprised if it was that long I'm not gonna yeah. lie I don't really understand time um, well cause because... you don't have the sun and the moon do you no uh, we don't we don't have there's no passage of time in the, in the nether well do you have but three I... meals a day I mean, I kind of just eat when I'm hungry. We oh, don't, like, sit down for hard. meals. Yeah. Um, that and, like, half the Netherian population, both working subjects and non-working occupants, uh, they're, like, half dead. So, you oh. know, they don't really eat either. <laughs> they don't really age. Um, That's right, you guys don't have villagers. We have a couple children, thanks to Sylph and Pat, um, which oh. Sylph has since abandoned, and oh, Pat right. has since abandoned. I remember the divorce, <laughs> the divorcee, or whatever. Divorcee. <laughs> divorcee. <laughs> Poor Pat. There was a divorce, and then Pat left, and then... Oh, Pat left... Yeah, he oh left, goodness. and I Poor I Pat. just had realized a couple days ago, and I went to check his uh, abode day, and there was just a barrel that said, good luck, with some food in it. And I don't know who that was directed at. I don't know if that was directed at Sylph, if that was directed at Dan, if that was directed at anyone new who takes up his position, which we do have a new member. Their name is Lillian. I have yet to meet them. Oh, um, oh wait, apparently, I, wait, uh, no, you, I didn't mean, no, if you, they were at the firework the... festival. No, apparently they went to the art festival. Though. Oh, I would, didn't go, I didn't even know there was an art festival. Yeah, I didn't either because I was locked in my room and oh, I no. think, so, um, he, you know, must have slipped by while I was reading or something to go and give the invites instead of, I you know, giving them to me. I just had a conversation with him about... <sighs> oh, well. Normally, normally he's pretty good, and when he delivers messages, he puts them in my room. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's just dropped... It's like, it's almost like he's, like, opening my, my bedroom door and just, like, throwing, <laughs> like, <laughs> the things that he needs to that's give me in there. That's how I feel when I drop things off. Yeah, so, like, that's fine if he's giving something but i'm i just 
I don't want him wandering about or spying on people, which I feel like he's done a couple times. Oh, I feel like it is a little bit in elven nature. We are able to go and visit. Invisible. So it's just fun. As long as I feel like it's fine as long as it depends on why, what it's for. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. So it doesn't, well, to me, it fine. doesn't matter what it's for. Opinion. I can't change your opinion about <laughs> him. I just, I, I understand why he does the things he does. And I promise to you that I will, uh, I don't, I was, had I, a word in mind, but I don't want to say fine. that. Um, I brought it up in the meeting can, and it was included in the draft copy of, the alliance which by the way if you are coming back i don't want to sign it until we know who's leading because <laughs> i don't need annabelle to sign it and then you become princess again and then we either i mean it would take like two seconds to draft up a new document but at the same time it's just a whole headache of you know figuring out who actually whose word stands true um, mm. yeah that's difficult because i don't know either it depends on how Annabelle fine. reacts to the truth there are still some things that i want to change on the document anyways um everything seems oh, to be i feel like i remember him giving it to me and i was like she's not gonna like that she's not gonna like that and he's like i'm just gonna give it to her as it is and i was like okay yeah the, i i didn't mind that there was only there's literally only one thing that I didn't really like, which was the fact of like being able to pull out of the alliance at any point with just mm. a written notice. And I was like, um, yeah, that's weird. no, I don't need you showing up at my gates with a letter going, we're no longer allies, and then stabbing me. Oh, I would never do that. Well, I don't know. About <laughs> I'm not saying you, though. but I'm saying like, yeah. I don't need it to be as simple as I have a letter here saying we're no longer allies. Um. I'm going to get you now, you know, like I, mm -hmm. I want to put in a clause of like, Hey, it has to be a, like a verbal confirmation. And then you have to like, go back to your own kingdom. And then this, like the closing of the Alliance has like a time limit on it. So like, Here's the notice, we're stopping the Alliance. It takes effect in a day, two days, etc. Mm. Um, so then everyone can plan. go back to their grounds and then stay there. <laughs> for, for, for more. Is that Ugh. what's happening? I really hope that would never happen. No, I, really I don't. Do. I don't really want it to happen. Um, I don't want war, but I will defend my people and... Uh, there's something shady going on with Kato. I don't want to deal with it. I don't oh. think, I don't think, I think he's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite. I think he got, he told me that oh, about his stupid manual for advisoring or whatever. And I was manual? like, give that to me. Yeah. I was like, give it to me and I'm going to burn it and rewrite it. Because <laughs> whatever <laughs> was in there. I, it, it's, was that given to him or did he write it? Because no, I think it's he's the latter so, is funnier. A, he's a chosen advisor, which means at yes. birth, he has been trained to advise a princess. Oh, okay. So it's that. And thing. I think with what happened, he and Maholia were basically grew up together. Um,. Because they, you know, he was always told that when she will be princess, he will be her advisor. Mm. Um, so he ha doesn't know anything else. And I, he's, he shuts off all his feelings. Like, it doesn't, like, he's feeling, he doesn't even, like, mm. express them. Even when I was, like pleading to him to just tell me something that isn't oh well this is the best for the kingdom because like that's all he thinks about <laughs> it's just politics and business yeah. in his head so i understand why 
he... And then with me not knowing what I'm doing, at some point I think he just went ahead to like, in his words, try to make my life easier, but then I didn't, and then it just made it worse, but... I mean, I told him that. I was honest with him. I was like, don't do that. Just come to me and tell me. You don't need to stoop yeah. through my room to read my letters. Just be like, hey, have you gotten an email lately? And I'll be like, oh, yes, I did. It's called mutual Never trust between the princess and the advisor. <sighs> anyway, sorry. I'm still, <laughs> that was a fresh conversation. I'm no, still. No, I would be angry as angry. well. I don't I think. That. Fang goes through my stuff, but not for the reason that you think. He will go through my stuff and mess it all up and then leave. <laughs> he'll go in my like chests or my drawers or anything like that. And he'll just like, he'll just throw everything about and then he'll leave. And I'm like, he doesn't read anything. That sounds like Anthony. He doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do anything except for cause me headaches. Um, but I, I digress. What what was the emotional thing that did he did he open up to you emotionally? Did he tell you what's on his mind? Um uh kind of I think uh, I don't know if this is something I can share. Um I mean I knew about it, but I think he took he took Maholia's death very hard and personal and then shoved it deep down. Mm. Um, and he regrets telling Maholia how he felt before she died. How did he feel? Well, did he hate her? Do you? No, he loved her. Huh. And that's also another reason why he couldn't be around me, because he said the lines mm. between me and Maholia were blurring, and he didn't want that to be a distraction from me ruling. And I was like, what even does that even mean? <laughs> so... I think that's code for I'm shoving this down. Hmm? I said I think it's code for I'm shoving this down. Like. Yeah, feelings. well, I just, that's why I, I told him not to do that. Because <laughs> then we're here where we don't trust each other. And as princess and advisor, that's how... A kingdom runs smoothly is if you have mutual trust. So. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've had that conversation before. <laughs> oh? Um, Fang likes to do things on his own, and when he gets results, he's like, but I got results! And, uh, I have to, I have to constantly remind him to not do that. He needs to talk to me about when he's doing things. Yeah, what, what's up um, with that? Also, apparently, <sighs> Fang knows the secret. Because Kano told him. Yes. I know he knows. Yes? Did you yes. know before I told you? No. He kept okay. it a secret. And then I came back from our conversation um and he could sense something was wrong and i told him that i couldn't tell him and then he said that he probably already knows he had a conversation with kano is it regarding maholia and i said yes and then mm. i got upset and he comforted me we talked about it. I oh, wonder what it's like to be comforted by your advisor. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Still well, a little angry, but... Fang and I were friends first. Before we were advisors. I got to choose him, which I think is the biggest difference. Oh yeah, definitely. 
it wasn't uh, anointed. Um, so, yeah, he, I won't lie, he's probably the closest person I have, but that doesn't mean that I don't have other people that are close and that I want, that I, how the hell am I wording this? Uh, <laughs> he is the closest person to me and vice versa. But I have other people that I have that are close to me and that I want close to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. Yeah, um, no, I understand. Um, it's kind of how I felt about every single person when I... When I was Maholia, I wished I could be closer to them, but I couldn't tell. Including you. But I'm, oh. I, I'm relieved that I told you, and I'm relieved that you didn't cast me away. It's not your fault. I have no reason to cast you away. You were well, I didn't know playing that. a part. I didn't, you were forced I didn't know to play. how much. I didn't know. I didn't know what you, I did. I guess I didn't know you as well as I thought I did because I didn't know how you'd react. But now I do know. And you're much, much more kinder and empathetic than the aura that you want to give off. That aura is a shield. It is to keep people away from the people that I care about. The place that I care about. Why is that so important? Keep others out. Because I can't lose them. I don't, don't know what it would do to me. You don't think you'll lose them by keeping them in? What I'm trying to amend. Um, although it terrifies me beyond belief to let them leave the nest, metaphorically. <laughs> There have been baby steps taken, and they have done well. Lena has... It's mainly been Lena, because Karma... Karma has trouble staying outside of the Nether for a long time, where I feel like that's the last place Lena wants to be, is the Nether. Um, wow. But I've been testing her? Question mark? <laughs> and she's been been good she's done as i asked she's kept a guard with her and made sure that she was safe she listens to my precautions when i tell her things so i told her that she can go as she pleases um but to be careful to not let anyone come in i i also just As it stands, because of how treacherous the Nether is, we hold the strongest of armors. Mm -hmm. And I, it sounds, it might sound selfish, but I don't want anyone else to have that type of armor because if they are weaker than us and they attack us, we stand a chance. Political warfare tactics and all. Thinking of all the angles, being the princess. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, well, I don't know about the war part, but the part about not feeling obligated to shell out good armor to other kingdoms is reasonable, I think. And I think it's actually pretty selfish that other people want it because honestly diamond armor is not bad 
it's not terrible. It's not... No. And you can enchant it. And at least for an elf, I don't think the elves are very scared of having anything. We do plenty of damage just with the bow and arrow. Yeah. We really don't really need much else. Um, so... <laughs> It's just... I've heard it's any projectiles, oh? including snowballs, which hurt. Oh no. Um, I won't throw them at you. I'm full. Maybe. I'm full. I'm full. I'm. Okay, I've got. Okay. I got, you might I get set this. on fire. I'm letting you know. Okay. Um, I don't have a bucket of water. It's okay. Let's go over I... here. Okay. I'm really excited. Sorry, I'm sorry. I really hope this doesn't do any like serious damage. Um, We're okay. about to find out. I'm sorry. I apologize, but I really, I'm really curious. Yeah, it Is it do doing anything? anything? You're hitting Liars. me, but no. Well, this Maybe is the thing. If I didn't have any it armor could be fire on, Ruby. it's because of my armor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is Fire Ruby. It's purple and red. It's very pretty. I guess I've seen it. I've seen it when you guys bathe in lava. <laughs> oh, true. Um, yeah, I don't... I think as far as armor goes, you having the people who reside in the nether have netherian armor is fine because it's built for the environment. That's why it exists there. It's so that you guys can adapt to the environment you're in. And everyone else who just wants it, just want it's, it's power hunger. They just yeah. want it to be stronger. Mm -hmm. So. Which I think is very interesting it. that the uh, anti-heroes are so anti-immortality, but they're also, they're not anti-law breaking. Because, for me, anyone who wants armor stronger than the one that resides in their plane of existence seems like they want it for power. They, which is this whole anti-hero thing, is that they don't mm -hmm. want a princess to be invincible. Well, that's the thing. I think that's the fear they're motivated by fear of yeah. a princess being invincible they don't want anyone to be more powerful than maybe a normal citizen or even a prince or prin another prince or princess the princesses and, are, and it's stupid because the princesses are already more powerful than the subjects yeah so that could they could easily be power hungry i don't know yeah. um but as far as what the Lord Keeper is up to, I it doesn't seem too bad um, for now. I do worry sometimes. It's like I felt I felt like the like almost like they knew what was going to happen at the ball before I even knew what was going to happen. Sorry, this sand block was breaking. Oh, what? And I don't know if it was lag or not. Well, there's nobody on who knows my location. That was weird. It must have been like a lag or something. I Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, and there's no elves on to be invisible. No. That was weird. That was probably just a glitch, visual that glitch. That was weird. See, look. I don't- I see nothing. <laughs> I will sh- oops, oops, sorry! <laughs> no, you're fine! I see it on my... vision. There, did I fix it? I don't- It's not doing it now, but I will sh I- I will somehow show you later. 
Okay. It's I, I might have been from when lag. you... Yeah, when you got the snowballs. I, yeah. That was so strange. Um, but yeah, if I... Here. Oh wait, can I have some snowballs? Uh, yes. Oops. I don't have a shovel Oops. on me. I got one. Okay. Like, I think if I... Like, see how you don't take damage at all? Huh. That's so but weird. when you hit me, I take damage. It's not a lot because of I'm protected by my armor, but it's the fact that I take damage, period. Hmm, that is strange. Yeah. I, we, I think we also take damage from splash potions. Because the basic ingredient is water. <laughs> oh... I know, it's so fun. <laughs> this actually used to all be broken ice, but I broke it all and then it froze over and now it's really hard, hard so it's, it's fun to walk Ooh. on. Good ice skating. Ice. Glad I'm not melting it. <laughs> and I love, I love the northern lights here. They're so pretty. I think you might have special elven vision. Probably, but oh my gosh, I wish you could see them. <laughs> and then the twinkling stars in the back. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Um. Yeah. Um, I... Are you okay? <laughs> Am I okay? I know it's a loaded question. I... Will you be okay? I feel... more... confident in myself, but maybe not for a reason you will like. I... I don't feel in secure or scared anymore but because I don't feel that way anymore I'm not scared to die either and if my fate is to then I will embrace it well the legend states that the younger twin be killed is but an omen of death is an omen of death and well, my mother has died gone. my father has died and my sister has died so all that's left is me oh, and anthony but i i will rather it be me before anthony I don't know if they're gone. Huh? Not fully. Who? Your parents. Your sister. What do you mean? I... I don't have the book on me. But I found out more information regarding this. I think I told you a bit of it last time we talked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're gonna bring back it Galaxy, right? Yeah. It talked in there about how Death himself was the one to wield this weapon. The shepherd of life. He was but Death felled. no longer wields it. Well. As he no longer exists, which I think is how so... you guys are immortal. The winters, so maybe but their souls still exist somewhere. I think their souls exist in the end, based on the way that the ritual uh, read the chant that I think I have to do. Um, to me, it I it. 
I interpret it as the end. It said, a sea of stars. Um, it said, through the, through the window, um, you will see an endless sea of stars or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that well, the end is literally an abyss of stars. I, in my interpretation, maybe those stars are souls. Maybe the souls reside in. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll protect you. Um, uh, there is, um, there, I think there's a limbo. I think if death is no longer in existence to shepherd those to the afterlife, where do they go when they die? Hmm. If the location and the thing we need to do to bring Galaxy back is in the end... Why would no other soul, why would only her soul reside there? Should it work? Are you saying that it would bring them back? I don't know. I assume the ritual that we have to do where all five princesses need to sacrifice something of importance. I want to say that that is a way to do the rit or do the mechanic of the scythe to bring life to someone without sacrificing life. Because otherwise the scythe works in taking and giving. I don't know if it would bring all of them back or just her. I don't want to get your hopes up. I... It's something that we can work towards. So... I don't know. I, it seems... It seems kind of scary to play with the forces of life and death. Even... Even bringing back Galaxy sounds extremely risky. Because... But you said you've done this before and nothing went wrong, right? I did the baseline. I have not done... How long ago did you do that? Uh... Well over... 10 to 15 years ago. If okay. my yeah, years are correct, did. it could be longer. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well... Gosh, I don't even know what I would do to see my mother again. To see Maholi again. I don't know if Maholi would be entirely happy to be back, to be honest. Um, the reason why I bring My up... father would definitely not want to be back. That's for sure. <laughs> the reason why I bring it up is not to bring hope, but to bring comfort. That I don't know if they're fully gone. And maybe it would be worth it to just sit in the end and listen one day. Thank you. Maybe, maybe someday I can find the answers that I've always been looking for. I don't think that you're a curse. I don't think you're a bad omen. Well, I guess we'll find out, right? <laughs> but... It is what it is. If you were to die... Would you want to be brought back? I don't know. 
I... I guess it depends on the reason. <laughs> um... <laughs> If it meant, if my death meant putting Anthony in danger and it would risk his life, I would, of course, want to come back and protect him. If it meant, if it was something of my own doing, obviously I wouldn't want to come back. Um, I don't know, but I guess I'd have to start valuing my life more if I wanted to come back. I hope you do. That sun is so bright. <laughs> it's so bright. Is this just ah! the Winter Kingdom? <laughs> is it the Winter? Are we in the Winter Kingdom? Yeah, we're in the Winter. We're on the very edge of it. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> yeah. Um. I might return to the nether, but you are always uh -huh. welcome of course. there. Feel free to show up whenever you like. Can I get that in writing so I don't like show up and someone's like, kill on site? No, no. There, I will let my knights know. Okay. It's, and they're less of kill on sight and, you know, capture them and let Morgan do with them. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. So, yeah. Well, thank but, you. Uh, Maybe I'll course. take you up on that. I would like you to. I don't want you to uh, feel like Are you there? can't come talk to me if you need me. Well, I do have your telepaths. Although I guess I do still have to go to the portal in the Elven King. Yeah, and by the time <sighs> you get to the portal, you're already in my my room. So. Yeah, so there's really no point. It's it's still good to have because if no, you need to get I, out I of a situation, I you agree. fall into lava <laughs> or something, you can TP to me. Um. Or if you're in danger and I'm in the overworld, you can get to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I will be going. I will leave you to your devices. Um, if you need anything, don't hesitate. Okay, thank you. Of course. I will be seeing you, Melody. And you too. Hi, Lady Morgan. <laughs> it's just more. More? More. M O R. Oh. Oh, okay. Got it. Safe travels, more. Thank you. 